Let me ask you, have your flexors ever felt flabby? Your extensors tired and weak? Has your metacarpal phalangeal ever been stiff and your bars limp? Well, I'm going to be leading you through a workout. It's time to get pumping nylon. At first, I, I thought kind of in a humorous way, that'd be so cool, but when I saw it, oh, that's not, you know. Ugh. So I'm playing Frog Galliard and Bach, I'm sitting on the edge of a Smith machine. And you should wear sweatpants because it's, you know, it's a Smith, it's a workout thing. So, but it was so weird that I think people were gravitating toward it. And that's the pumping nylon. Well, in writing pumping nylon, there were several factors that kind of made me want to do it and eventually do it. The first and for the first thing was, uh, despite the title, um, was just to get. Um, I'd been collecting different exercises, and a lot of them, well, more than half of them were just handwritten, and I'd be giving them to students, and then having to copy them again the next year and giving them and. And I give them to them in a little pile of paper, you know. And I thought, you know, I got to organize this. So I expanded it a little bit and got some more sheets of various uh, technical exercises and that thing. And had it bound, you know, just so I could give it. This went on for a couple of years. And then I, I thought, you know, why not just put it, put it into a book? And at least I can use it for my students, you know. I really didn't think it would sell, honestly. I hadn't. I, who's going to buy, you know, a, a guitar technique book you know but I just wanted it for my students thinking okay these are things I don't see in other books so far um, so I put it in a certain order left hand right hand and now I can use it so I called a couple companies and and the second company I called was um, a National Gu a Guitar Workshop who was in partnership with Alfred Music they said uh, yeah we'll do it okay boom so then two years later, it took me almost two years. For the first half was handwritten with little squares where I was going to put the photos and all that. Then I got my first computer, which was four meg of RAM, expandable to 16. I thought, man, I am styling here. You know, I'm like on top of the chain. And, uh, you know, typing in, you know, and watching, you know, so it took me a while to do that. And... Um, so in, I think it was 1995, it was finally published. And so I thought, great, now I can just like, you know, I, I, I can get, they give me a certain number of books and now my students can get, there's only $11, great. I was really, really, really into to lifting weights, not bodybuilding type, but like, you know, we had no coaches growing up where I, where I grew up, but uh, just trying to teach myself on things I read about how to how to do Olympic style like lift, lifting like clean and jerk and all that stuff in the press. Of course, the Bible then, even though it was a by a bodybuilder, Arnold, right, pumping iron, that was what everybody was really reading, and you know, and of course I had my copy, and um, I thought, man, if I ever do, I'm gonna do a book sometime called Pumping Nylon, you know, and uh, everybody thought it was so funny, ha ha. And I got my chance, you know, I, I did. And I, I called it that. It started out as an article for Guitar Player. And uh, so one of the first workshops I gave at the National Guitar Workshop in Connecticut was, they said, look, we're going to call it Pumping Nylon. But I invited um, the editor, Jim Ferguson at the time, was one of the editors in Guitar Player. And he came and I said, you have to bring your guitar because you have to participate. So it was a full room and he... And, you know, he wrote a whole article up on it and we published a little music in there and we called it Pumping Nylon. So it was the article that was called Pumping Nylon. With a little talk, it wasn't as formal as it would be these days. Yeah, you can use the title, go ahead. So we did, and that's the Pumping Nylon. I don't know whose arm it was. It was not my arm on the cover. But it was so weird that I think people were gravitate, gravitating toward it, toward it. Um, just to see what was inside, they'd buy it. <laughs> and so that's, that's really honestly where it started. It was just a, a thing that I could use for my students. There was literally no budget. If there was any payment involved, I'd generally have to pay them myself. So I wanted to find people, first of all, who I think could, who I thought could write a certain thing. 
Like if I wanted a, a left-hand slur study, if it had to be somebody I thought would do a good job at that and understood what I wanted, my needs uh, with the technique part of it. Luckily, it turned out, I mean, uh, gosh, right away, Brian Head and Andy York were on board and they they contributed some just, not just great technical studies, but really deeply fine pieces, you know, that I've, I've played in concert before. There's the first video and then there's that new video, which is on the second edition they finally let me do. It's like a four hours of video and then the book is just kind of uh, a reference book for the video, which I really like. But the first video was literally, um, I went to wherever Nat Gounod was living at the time. He rented out, there was a tiny studio that was, I mean, it was a room basically a black room with really hot lights. And by the end of three days of film taping or two or three days, I had a sunburn on top of my head because the light it's off camera, but it's really just like a heat lamp on my head. And they put a weight bench in one of these Smith machines, right? Where, you know, they had the whole pulley system in the back and a bench. At first I, I thought kind of in a humorous way, that'd be so cool. But when I saw it, Oh, that's not, you know, Ugh, you know, so, um, so the, yeah, you just sit on the edge there, you know, play. So I'm playing Frog Galliard and Bach on sitting on the edge of a Smith machine. And you should wear sweatpants because, you know, it's a Smith, it's a workout thing. So, <laughs> you know, I, I'll wear sweatpants anytime. I love that. But, uh, yeah, just a long sleeve kind of a t-shirt and sweatpants. And that was the video. And we just, um, there was no editing. The only editing they did was just basically piecing it together and adding music in the background. But basically, the script was in real time, day to day. So today we're going to cover blah, 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 the tomorrow. So some of it was on Nat's computer screen, scrolling. And then I would literally have to stop and then hold it. And then uh, cue cards that we would together write the night before. And then, okay, go. And then I'd, I'd pick up where I left off reading from these cards. And if I messed up, there was no going back. So there was a little rehearsal involved first. Um, luckily, it came together okay. There was no major uh, calamity where we had to just scrap a whole day. But yeah, it was, it was just real basic, you know. One of the things I say in the forward to that book is that it's not a method that it's just a reference book. And so it's not, it's not put together in a way where you can just go progressively through it. It just deals with certain issues and then kind of, you know, drills, you know, physically, you know, exercises that will improve, help you improve. So I have had students come to me from various places saying, gosh, they're having trouble. They're on page five, 10 now. And first of all, they haven't realized that now, so far, it's all the left hand. There hadn't been none of this yet. And gee, I'm having trouble with, uh, this is really hard. And then, you know, in, in communicating with them, you find out they're just basically beginners. And so I, I, I tell them, I'm honest, I say, you know, this is not the book for you. Um, you know, keep it for the exercises, but it's not a method you need to uh, uh, get a teacher. First of all, I mean, ideally get a teacher. Um, and then I might rattle off a few names of a few books that I think would help them just basically. But yeah, it's not a method. So that's the first thing I tell them. Hi there, I'm Scott Tennant, and I'm going to be leading you through a workout. Let me ask you, have your flexors ever felt flabby? Your extensors tired and weak? Has your metacarpal phalangeal ever been stiff and your bars limp? Well, in this video...